Right, so let's get into this new art project I made. So I got this art sculpture from an auction from an artist who actually does these for a living. He takes dead trees and carves them and makes these beautiful structures. I bought it and decided to reconstruct it into a piece of art I can call my own. With this piece, I basically spray painted it white to give it a good base so that I can put bright colors onto it. I wanted it to mimic a geode, so I added crystals around the edges so that no matter which side you're looking through it on, that you'll be able to see some sparkles. So I started it off by gluing it around the edges and layering it from there. Um, from there, I would pour resin around it to make sure it's extra secure, and then I would start to add my colors. The colors I chose were gold, white, and Okinawa blue. Um, I chose these colors because blue is among one of my favorite colors, and this one was just so vibrant. I just knew that the gold would look good next to it. So I did all of that, and um, once it dried, I go ahead and I do my markings, basically my lines and um, my detail work. So my detail work includes glitter, um, thick lines, uh, different variations of colors, dots, rings, anything I could think of that good, looks good in the space that I have. So here's the look of what I've done. Once I have my glitter lines and my detail work all set, I'm going to go over some of those details with some gold metallic marker. This makes the work stand out and makes it pop. Having different variations or different shades of one color definitely makes it look like it's layered. It gives it more of a 3D look. It's just, it's very clean. So you're not seeing the finished edges of anything. You're going over it, you're outlining it. It's just looking real, real vibrant. And once that dries, I'm going to flood coat it and create another layer. Another thing I do is once everything dries again, I go in with more detail work by adding alcohol ink details. Um, in my alcohol ink, I'll add some pigment that I use so that it matches more closely to the gold that I used on the project. And I'll go outside some of the lines um, just so it gives it a layered look. Um, going outside of the crystals closest to the inside. Now on to the other side, flipping it over and basically repeating my process but with a different like layout of everything. So the opposite side was a little bit different looking when it came to the crystals. Well this side is a little bit different and I had to work with what I got. Um, I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out but um, trust the process. detail this time on this side I added little gold dots uh, what I'll do with that later you'll see so here I am adding my logo um, basically my signature to my piece of art so that I will forever be named on this beautiful, beautiful masterpiece. The next thing I did was add some glitter lines. Um, I really 
felt pleased with where I added the glitter lines because it definitely gave it a shape that the um, crystal areas couldn't because the crystal areas were so small and insignificant and the way the resin laid um, it didn't really have much of a shape but yeah the glitter lines really made it come to life and next the detail work with the alcohol ink is going to give it more depth by adding more gold on top of the gold it's going to look like it's layered this looks redundant and tedious and looks like why am I doing something when you barely notice the difference but you really do notice the difference with the small detail work adding that little bit of gold pigment to the outer edges of the crystals and to different areas of the canvas really does come together that's why it's always good to take a before and after of the things that you do because you would definitely notice the difference So to wrap this up, I basically do a little bit more detail work. I let that dry about 24 hours and I go over it with a top coat um, of resin. And I'll continue it later, but for now, this is basically what it looks like. <laughs> 